Okay. All right. Good morning, everybody. Let's get started. So low intensity interval training class. Um, let's start with marching. Just marching in place, standing nice and tall, shoulders back, head up, tummy muscles pulled in. Now in this class, if you need to hold on to something for balance, have a high back chair in front of you, or you can hold on to a wall or a surface, but make sure you have something to hold on to if you need it. Pace wise, you figure out the pace that works for you. Sometimes I land up marching quickly. You, you stick with whatever pace works for you. You do not have to go at any particular pace. Um, when we're doing intervals and repetitions, you do as many as you feel comfortable, take breaks whenever you feel like you want to do that. Okay. All right. Just stepling your breath, nice deep breaths in and out. Shoulders back and down, tummy in. Pull that belly button in towards your spine. Feel like you're being pulled up by a piece of string to the ceiling. Elbows are going front to back. So not across your body like this, but just straight front to back. Good, and we're gonna start off with small steps forwards and backwards. So stepping forwards, stepping back. Good. For four more. Three, two, and switch sides, other side. Stepping forward, stepping back. And imagine you're stepping over a little hurdle or a little bump in the sidewalk. So just picking your feet up as you step forward and as you step back. Good. Four more on the side. Three, two, and one, watch the change. You're gonna step knee and back. Step one knee up and stepping back. And again, holding on, holding onto your chair side on. If you don't need to hold on, you can use your arms. Good work. Step knee and back. For four, three, two, and one, marching in place. Watch the arms if you can, up and down, reaching up and down, or you can hold on with one hand and go up and down with one, okay? Your choice. Good. Four more. Three, two, and one. Go forwards and sideways. And you can flick the fingers, make a fist, and then flick those fingers open. For four, three, two, one, up and down, up and down, two, three, and four, front and side, for four, three, two, and one, stepping side to side, step and tap, keep those knees and toes facing forward as you're stepping. Don't let your knees drift in, okay? Keep them facing forward. You can add arms or holding on. So now you're holding on in front of you or you're using your arms side to side. Feel like you're getting warmer. Heart rate is going up a little bit, but you can always talk. We use the talk test. You should be able to talk with relative ease. Be able to say a few sentences easily. Good work. For four, three, two, keep your legs wide, reach and pull, get your heels up towards your bum. Good. Keep the knees pointing down. And with this, you just go to the range that feels um, acceptable to you. You don't have to force that heel up any higher than is achievable. Good. Reach and pull or holding on. Good. Remember those tummy muscles, pull them in. For four and three, two and one. Back to marching, marching in place, good. We're gonna start again from the beginning, front back steps, a little bit bigger now. Bigger step forward, making sure your body is centered over your feet. 
for four, three, two, and switch sides, other side, forwards and backwards. Four more, three, two, step with the knee drive, step knee and back. And I'm not leaning backwards as I bring the knee up. I stay it's nice and straight. For four, three, two, marching in place, arms up and down. Reach those fingers, make a fist, and then flick the fingers. Get the energy and the circulation going all the way through. For four, three, two, out in front out and front. Four to go here. Three, two, stepping side to side. Step and tap. Should be feeling like you're warming up now. Four to go. Three, two, and one, hamstring curls, reach and pull. For four, three, two, and one. Bring those feet in, shoulder width apart, pull those tummy muscles in, little mini squats, sticking your bum out behind you. So hinge at those hips, stick your bum out, and then come up. Let's just practice that technique. So you're not going forwards and lifting your heels. You keep your heels down and you sit a little bit back and down for four, three, two, and one. Up and down on the toes, up and down with control. Try and go up and down, nice and high. Tummy in, shoulders back, three, Two and one, little squats, down and up. Two, three, four, 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 three, two, up and down on the toes, up and down. Two, three, four, last four, three, two and marching it out march it out in place nice and vigorous now just marching on in your place we've got 30 seconds of march and then we'll get going with the exercises we've got five exercises going through them twice and then we've got five weighted exercises we'll go through those twice and then we'll go through the whole thing top to bottom here we go another 20 seconds to go nice strong march head up chest up Getting a bit more vigorous in your movement as you're warming up. 10 more seconds. Okay, first exercise is our lateral leaps, going side to side. So as you do this movement, you step to the side, hold and balance, step to the side, hold and balance. Now, if you need to hold on, you have that surface in front of you. If you do not need to hold on, you're using your arms, getting your weight over that leg, fully transferring your weight one side to the other. Here we go. This is option one. Option two, you can add that little bit of a leap using those arms. And then option three, you're going quicker. Now you can leap and you can go quicker. You may wanna consider the higher intensity class. If this time is better for you, equally you can just increase the intensity yourself. So step, hold and balance. Step, hold and balance. Watch the knee you're stepping onto. It stays soft, meaning a little bit of a bend in that knee, a little bit of a hinge in those hips. Get that full weight transfer. Good, so you're not just here where you're not really transferring your weight. You transfer and try and get that little bit of a balance. Good work. So these first five exercises, the intent is to get our heart rate up, into that sort of low to moderate intensity. 15 more seconds. 
Good work. 10 seconds to go. Between each exercise, we're going to do quick feet. 30 seconds of quick feet starting in three, two, one. Quick feet on the spot, light and quick, using your arms. Now, this can be a march in place as quick as you can, but you must be able to lift your feet off the floor or you go right into a quick feet jog. And we go, go, go. 30 seconds, trying to get our heart rates up, getting our steps in, standing tall. If you're marching, stand tall, try not to tip side to side, keep your body square, use your tummy muscles to keep you tall. In three, two, one, and relax. Easy march to recover. Next one, we're going in 10 seconds. Runners, standing on one leg, other ones behind. You're in this hip hinged position. From here, you drive the knee up using your arms. You drive that knee in, your stance leg stays bent. Lots of control in your quads. Here we go. One minute each side. Driving that knee up, head and chest up, shoulders back, tummy in. And you drive. Good work. Using your arms. Feel those arms really powering the movement. Elbows go straight back. This bum muscle here is really working. This leg is really working. It's controlling all the movement. Keep this knee lined up over your toe. And if you're new, you might do about 10, 15 seconds, march in place, come back to it. You don't have to stick with the whole interval. Some of us have been doing this for almost four years now. Hard to believe. Here we go. Keep going. 10 seconds, and then we're at our minute. For five, four, three, two, one. Straight onto the other side. Leaning forward, hinging in the hip, powering that knee in, push off with the toe, and driving that knee up. Keep this knee lined up over the middle toe. Good work. Good, keep it going, try those elbows. Nice work, everyone. Use your arms to power your legs. We have 22 seconds left. Feel this glute and this leg working, working really hard to stabilize and keep you balanced. 10 seconds. For four, three, two, straight into quick feet, and we go. It's a little hard when the muscles are tired. Go, go, go. Marching quickly, or little quick foot jog in place. Use your arms. Get your whole body going to lift that heart rate. Good work. 12 seconds. Excellent work. Keep it going if you can. Take a break if you need to. Three, two, one, and ease it off. Easy march. You have water whenever you want to. So that's exercise two. Exercise three coming up. Okay. Exercise three. Shoulders back, tummy in, head up. Heels together. Stepping out to the side. Down. Up. Together. Our feet are turned out. When we come up here, engage the tummy, tighten the pelvic floor, hold it there. Step out, down, up, together. From the side, this is what it looks like. I'm sitting back and down. You might just be here. You might do a very small movement. That's totally fine. You go to the depth that works for you. Here we go. Down and up. Stand tall. Stand tall in the middle. Equal weight on both legs. Feet turned out to the side. Sitting back with those hips, but keep your chest and your head up. So do not drop down like this. This will just make you dizzy and not do a lot. Keep your head and your chest up, stepping out with control. Come back in. 
down and up. Good work. Tummy in, shoulders back. Here we go. Keep going if you can, march it out if you need a break. Feel those legs working. Working a little bit more into the inner thigh as well. Five, four, three, two, straight into quick feet and go. Go, go, go. Use the arms, use your arms to drive your legs. Stand up tall, try not to round your body. Stay tall, tall, tall. 20 seconds to go. Good work. Tummy in, head up, chest open. Good work. 10 seconds. For five, four, three, two, one. Easy march, good, and recover. Well done, that's exercise three. Exercise four, we know this one well. Climbing our mountain, big reciprocal arms, big legs, amplitude, that's what we're looking for here. Big reach with the opposite arm, and we go. Climbing up, drive up, reach, and we go. Try and feel like you're reaching for a rope, pulling yourself up, lifting that leg to get it onto the ladder or onto a rock as you climb this mountain. You can be a little bit springy in your step if you want to. So either springy on that foot or a flat foot stance, driving that knee up. Big amplitude, opposite arm leg movement. And we climb. Good work. We're gonna switch to scissors in a little bit. I'll tell you when. Keep climbing. Good. Tummy tight, head up, chest up. Okay. In 10 seconds, switching to scissors. Should be feeling warm as we do this big compound movement. For three, two, one, big tap back. One leg goes back, that same arm reaches forward. Come back to your home base, other side. I'm in this slight hip hinged position. Tapping, reaching, thumb up towards the ceiling. Big amplitude, holding on if you need to. Good. It's controlling the movement with the front leg. So you tap back, controlling the movement with your core muscles, tummy muscles working hard. Thumb goes up to the ceiling. Good work. And you can just as easily be doing this, holding on, reaching the leg behind you as far as you can. Good. Stick with it if you can. Take a break if you need to. 10 seconds. Four, five, four, three, two, one. And march it out, well done. Good work. One more, oh, quick feet, go. Quick feet, almost forgot. Here we go, get the heart rate up. Keep it up, quick as you can. Light and quick. You're quick marching or you're light jogging. Just in place, getting those arms going. Use the leg, use the arms to drive your legs. Good work, 10 more seconds. Marching with purpose or a little quick feet jogging. For five, four, three, two, one, and now you can rest. Next one, rocket squats. We're doing squats three ways. First one, you go down, two, three, up in one. So you're slowly going down and then up in one. I'll cue the changes as they come. All right, here we go. Sink back with those hips, two, three, up in one, down, two, three, up in one, three, two, three, four, 
five. So you're controlling that descent. You don't have to go too deep, you decide. This is eight and nine. Last one, 10. 10 regular squats, just going down and up. 10, nine, power up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down there, little pulse. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, up you come, quick feet, and we go. Light marching, quick, use your arms, tummy in, head up, chest up. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and march it out. Have a break, water break. We've got full uh, 45 seconds break. Keep your legs moving if you can. Try not to stand still. Good work. All right, how are we doing? Just give me a thumbs up if we're A-OK -okay and we're going back to the beginning, back to the top, starting again at the lateral leaps. Really thinking about control, I think everybody looks like they're coming back. Good work. Okay, here we go. Back to the beginning. We're going to do the quick feet between each one this time as well, just to keep it, up. Keep it going. Okay, are we good? I think so. Okay, lateral leaps. Here we go. Side to side. Using those arms, good. So it's that big step, you are stepping and your knee stays bent. You're not locking the leg you're stepping onto. You're keeping that knee slightly bent, controlling the muscles at the front and the back of the leg. And then your glutes will fire to stabilize on the side. Good work. Nice and strong. Keep it up and you can pick your pace, pick the power, pick the tempo, holding on if you need to, many options. Very good work, 10 seconds to go. Feel the strength in that leg that you're stepping onto. For three, two, one, straight into quick feet and we go. Use your arms, just 20 seconds this time. Good work, head up, chest up. For five, four, three, two, one. And march it out, easy march. Good work, next one, we're doing runners. So that 15 second break. Very important with the runners that you hinge in the hip, Lean forward, use your arms to power the legs and keep a nice flat back. Here we go. So flat back, head to tailbone, and here we go. Ride that knee in, pushing off, toe taps at the back. I stay slightly forward leaning. Good. This knee stays lined up over my middle toe. Head and chest stay up. So don't go down and round, stay up. Good work. You'll feel this leg really working. The stance leg. Nice work. Controlling your breath, remember that talk test. You should always be able to talk, not get to the point that you're so out of breath you can't talk. Should be able to speak a sentence or two at least, not just a word. 
Good work. For five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, other side, up, up. And you can do it at one eighth of the pace. You can go faster than me, slower. You decide. Keep the shoulders square, tummy tight, knee controlled. Good work. And knee is lined straight up over that middle toe, not rolling in. Very good. Feel these muscles working in your quad and in your glute to control the movement. Don't forget those tummy muscles. Pull them in. Scoop that belly button in towards your spine. Well done, everybody. Looking good. And you can just march in place. When you need a break, you just keep your legs going, marching in place. For five, four, three, two, one. Quick feet, and we go. Woo. Good work. Light on your toes, teaching your feet to move quickly when we need them to, and using your arms to drive your legs. Now, if your legs are tired and you just want to do quick arms, you can equally just do this, driving your arms. Very good. Then you can give your arms a break and just do the legs. In five, four, three, two, one. March it out. Good work. Well done. Next one. Pop squats. So the ones where we step out to the side, down, pop up into the middle, squeezing the legs, engaging the tummy, engaging the pelvic floor. Here we go. Down and up. Sitting back and down with those hips. Equal weight through both legs. Don't feel like there's more on one than the other and we're not lunging side to side. It's not one leg straight, one bent. It's both of them bending with control down. Squeeze as you come up. Squeeze as you come up, good. Very good. Good work, everyone. Just coming in to see. Make sure when you're back in the middle, you're coming all the way up and standing straight and tall. Squeeze those shoulder blades back as you come up. Good. Almost there for five, four, three, two, and one, go into quick feet, quick as you can. We're almost there with this session. Almost there, there's like two more quick feet left after this, getting the heart rate up, getting our feet to move quickly. Very good, well done everyone. And you can always have a seat, you can march in the chair, you can take any breaks that you need. You must listen to your own body. Very good, excellent work for five, four, Three, two, one, and easy march. Recover, easy march. Well done, looking very good, everyone. Well done. Next one, we're climbing our mountain and then scissors. So mountain climbers and scissors. Have water whenever you need it. Here we go. Big climb, reaching opposite hand, and we're up. Good. Get that length on that weight-bearing side. Controlling your breath. You can do it with a flat foot on the ground, or you can be a little bit springy here. Totally your choice. Climbing your mountain. If you don't like overhead shoulders, you can go straight front back. Just one big amplitude movement. Does not have to be overhead if that's not available to you. Good, keep climbing. We're nearly at the top. Five, four, three, two, one. Scissors, big tap back, lean forward, thumb up, palms are facing each other. Reach that arm up, it can go to shoulder height or all the way up next to your ear, but you tap the leg back as far as you can with control. 
tap, tap. Good, get that length in your trunk as you reach that arm up, using the muscles in your upper back. Thumb up. Good. Keep it going. Take, pick a pace that works for you. You can go quicker, you can go slower. You can hold on. Here we go, last five, four, three, two, one. Quick feet, go. In place, marching in place, holding on, or little light jog in place. Just 10 seconds to go. Five. Four, three, two, one. March it out. Well done. Have some water if you need it. Next one is our squats, three different ways rocket squats, just regular squats, and then little pulses. We're going in five seconds. Set your body, stand tall, shoulders back, tummy in, feet roughly shoulder width apart, pointing forward or slightly out, but not wide, not wide turned out. Here we go. Down, two, three, up in one, two, two, three, up in one, three. Don't go too deep. If you're newer, figure out what works for you. Five more. Three, two, one, 10 regular squats, one, up, two, three, four, five, four, five, four, three, two, one, hold it down there, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one last quick feet of the day. This is it, last one. There we go. Use your arms. 15 seconds. Very good. Five, four, three, two, one. And march it out. Good work. Okay, that is round or set one of exercises done. We're going to go on to our weighted exercises. Have some water. And keep moving. And then bring your weights with when you come back. Okay. Standing nice and tall. First one. Let me just check in. Good work. All right, so volunteers just check in, see that everyone's okay. Once everyone's back, we'll get going and you can just join in. If you need a longer break, you join in later. First one, weights on your shoulders. Now, you could, if you struggle with overhead weights, do this without weights. You can just go with no weights or very light, like a water bottle, 500 mils, something like that. So we're doing a mini squat and then an overhead press. Little mini squat overhead press. You need a nice flat, straight back when you're doing that overhead press. Push straight up. If that is not available to you, just do a mini squat with a bicep curl, okay? Five to go. Three, two, one, well done. Weights by your side. Standing with your feet roughly shoulder width apart, squeeze those shoulder blades back and down. Draw your belly button in towards your spine and tighten your pelvic floor. So I feel like you're lifting everything up and in. Neutral back, just controlled bicep curl. I want the focus here to be actually more on your core than anything else. So slowly up, slowly down, slowly up, Slowly down. 
Now, if this is very easy for you, you can do it standing on one leg. In this class, I would imagine most people will be on two legs, focusing more on your core. If you're on one leg, you can switch. We have five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Flat back, hinging in those hips. We're going to go down, weights to your knees, come up, stand tall. We're working into the hamstrings now. Hinge, come up, stand tall. So deadlift. Three. When you come up, squeeze those shoulder blades back and down. Four to go. Two. One. Well done. Go into that hinge over here and you drive those elbows back. Squeeze. 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 Good. Nice flat back. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. You're going to take those arms and hold them there. Extend and bend. Two, three, four, five, for five, four, with control. Three, two, one, and release. Weights down. Weights down for now. We're going to come back to them in a moment. Just giving them a little break. If you have a band, you can use a band for this. Otherwise, no band. You're just going to go down in a mini squat. Come up and squeeze the arms apart. Pinkies going back. So down and squeeze, okay? Or you can have a band in your hand. So we start in a squat. You squat, come up, squeeze, and pull that band apart. Squeeze. Or just no band. And really just working the muscles in your upper back. Doesn't matter which way you do it. Reach and squeeze. Just wanting you to work the muscles between the shoulder blades in the middle of here. With or without a band. When you go up, pinkies, your palms are flat, pinkies are pointing back. Good. Open up that chest. We've got five more. Squeeze. Good. Three, two, and one. Okay, just march in place. We're gonna go through that one more time. When you're going down into your squat, stay upright here. I see some people kind of rounding as they're going and then coming up, stay up and then squeeze the arms back. So try not to round. Let's go for five more each side, okay? So it's down, arms are here, squeeze back. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, and five. Good, okay, so keeping that head and that chest up, really important. Last one with the weights before we have a little break. Feet turned out to the side, head and chest up, down, and an upright row. So now we're not hinging in the hips, we stay nice and tall, working into the inner thighs, and you pull your arms up like you're doing up a zipper, leading with your elbows, okay? Down, and upright row. Plie and upright row. Good work. Just three more. Two. And one. Well done. Okay, weights down. March it out, keep your legs moving. 
Try not to stand still. And we're going to go back to that whole set of weighted exercises. One more time. Shake your arms out. Take some deep breaths. And we think we're about ready. We're back. Okay. So first was our little overhead press. If this is, if going overhead is not available to you and you can't do it with a straight back, you just do a mini squat with the curl. Okay. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4 more. Three, two, one. Well done. Deadlifts. Weights in front, soft knees. Hinge so your back is flat, and then you stand up nice and tall. Two, three, four, five to go. Squeeze those shoulders back, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Feet shoulder width apart, weight squeeze back and down, up and control the down. Tummy muscles really working hard, three, four, Five, five to go, five, four, three, two, one. Hinging and we roll, 10, nine, last five, four, three, two, one, take those arms and hold them there, extend and bend, two, three, four, five, four, five, four, three, two, and one. We'll do the plie with the upright row first, okay? Down and upright row, lead with those elbows, two, Three, four, well done. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Put the weights down. Band in hand, if you want to use the band, if you don't want to use the band, you go without. I'll go without the band first. So you're here, you go down into a squat, feet together and squeeze the band apart or squeeze your pinkies back. Reach, squeeze. And you do not have to go deep here with the legs to get that hinge, stand up tall, squeeze those arms back. Good work. Let's go for five more, four, three, two, and one. Well done, and release the band. Shake the arms out, have some water, and come back and march in place. All right. Everyone, thumbs up if you're doing okay. If you need to go, I know some need to leave early. Thank you for letting us know. If you do leave early, please make sure you do some stretching. Um, stretch out the muscles we've worked. Once you are um, back in place, we'll get going again. We're almost there. The finish line is in sight. Okay, we've got like nine minutes of exercise and then we'll stretch. Okay, back to marching in place. Just waiting for everybody and I think we're good. Okay, back to the very beginning. No quick feet this time. We're just gonna run through all the exercises. 
from the beginning to all the way to the end, okay? It's gonna go quickly and we'll just take do 15 second breaks in between. If you need longer, you take longer. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, side to side. Nice and tall. Good, get that balance as you step and load onto that side. Shorter intervals here at the end. 20 seconds to go. Good work, keep it up. For five, four, three, two, one. Stay balancing on one side if you can. Hold it there, take your arms out if you can. Just hold on that one leg. Hands on above your head. Hands on your head. Hands on your hips. Switch sides. Hands up. Hands up. Hands on your head. Hands on your hips. And march it out. Well done. Next one. Run it. So we're going to go straight in. That was our recovery. Here we go. And we're up. Driving that leg up. 45 seconds each side. Using the power in this leg to control the movement, using the strength in your core to control your upper body. We're nearly there. Good work, everyone. Keep the knee lined up over that middle toe. Really using the strength in the front and the back of the leg here to control the movement. 10 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Right away, switching. Other side and up. Good. Keep that knee over toe, chest and head up. Using your elbows, pushing them straight behind you. Open up that chest, tummy in. We're over halfway. Almost there. 15 seconds. Really feel this supporting leg working hard. Four, five, four, three, two, one, and march it out. Well done. Good work. Stay marching here. Keep those legs going. Stepping out to the side, pop squats in five, four, three, two, one. Step down, up, heels together. You can do it broken down into three parts or you can go down, stepping up. Come all the way up, stand tall, squeeze those shoulder blades back and down. Just 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, last two, and one. March it out, ready to climb the mountain. Any mountain you choose, the view is going to be good. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one and we climb. You can get a little bit of that spring in your step, or you can be more flat foot stance, but drive the amplitude here. You are really close to the end. If you need to sit, you can do this in a chair. Good work. Keep controlling your breath. And going into scissors in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Big tap back, thumb up, reaching that leg back. 
Good work. Almost there. Big reach, big reach. Use your arms. If you're holding on, you can do one arm and then the other. For five, four, three, two, one. Easy march, good. Well done. All right, weights in hand. We're gonna leave the squats because we can do them during the weights as well. So weights in hand. We're almost there, four exercises left. On the shoulders, down, up, and press. So if you want to go a little deeper in your squat because we left it out of the last exercise, you can, or just go shallow. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. Deadlifts, weights in front, hinge, stand tall, squeeze back and down. Two, three, working into the hamstrings at the back. Four, head always stays. Higher than your waist though, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Feet shoulder width apart, tummy in, soft knees so they're not locked, soft, and you're up and down, ten, nine. Control, so no swinging. You're using the control in the abdominal wall and in your legs. For four, three, two, one. Rows, hinge, and row 10, nine, eight. Last five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there, 10, nine. Get to the end range, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Weights down. Band in hand, last exercise, last one. So keeping the chest up and open, you go down and then you squeeze back. Get the band to a distance that you can open it up or just no band, just 10. One, two, squeeze, three, four, oh. Last five, four, Three, two, and one. Squeeze, hold it there, and release. Well done. March it out. Good work. Just get those arms and legs moving. Relax your shoulders. We did a little bit more weight today than we normally do in this class. Let's go back to what we did in the warm up. So, stepping forward, stepping back, just nice and easy. Easy steps for three, two, and one. Switch sides, other side. For four, three, two, and one. Well done. Just easy march. Let's take those legs nice and wide. Bend one knee and then hinge and fold forwards. Both toes can be facing forward or a little bit out to the side and you'll feel a stretch in the inner thigh on the straight leg side. So from the side to what it looks like, I've got a flat back. I'm not round here, nice and flat. Good. And go the other side. And up you come. One leg in front, one behind. Front leg is bent, back leg is straight. 
push the heel down at the back and lean forward, get a bit of a stretch into the calf muscle at the back. Hold it there. Now wiggle that foot a bit further back, still keeping that back leg straight and straighten up with your body and feel more of a stretch through the hip flexor on that back leg side. Stretching should feel stretchy, not painful. <clears throat> Comfortable stretch, just relaxing into this position. Hold on for balance. Up you come, grab onto that foot, knees together, hip pushed forward. If you don't have the available range, you can rest that foot on a chair, on a sofa, and you just bend down until you get a stretch in that thigh. Good work. And release. Other leg goes back now. Keep the heel down first. Getting the stretch into the calf. Lean forward so you get that stretch. Both toes are facing forward, so don't rotate it out to the side. Hips are facing forward, knees are facing forward, toes are facing forward. Wiggle that foot a little further back. Come up, straighten up a bit and feel that stretch into the front of that thigh. Good, and standing tall, grab onto your foot. Shoulders back, knees together. Hold on for balance. You don't need to practice balance while you're trying to do the stretch as well. And release. One leg in front. Hinge in the hips. Flatten your back. Sit back with your bum. Feel a stretch down the back of that thigh. If you round your back, you will probably not feel much stretch. So straighten up your back, come up and fold like your hips are the spine of a book. And up, other side and hinge, folding forwards. Feel that nice stretch, hold on for balance. You can also do the sitting in a chair. And up you come. Let's take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Take your arms in. Give yourself a hug and tuck your chin and stretch the muscles in your upper back. Good. And open wide. And give yourself another hug. Other hand on top. Tuck your chin. And open wide. Two deep breaths. Deep breath in. And breathe out. One more deep breath in. And breathe out. Well done. Good work. If you feel something still feels tight, take this time to stretch a little bit more. And otherwise, very well done. And I just... Where do I stop recording? There. Thank you, Sally. Have a good week. Yes, you too.